Right, and uh, this is the work in progress so far. Um, so let's show you what we've been up to. Got proper mesh deformation at um, close range using colliders to trigger this beautiful mesh deformation script. But we've also got a shader forge um, shader which causes the swaying and the green. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I think some of these, these are my experimental bushes, so they're not going to behave all the same. Envirus spawn has still got this floating bug, to, which I've got to sort out to get them to hit the ground. So, again, in the short range, that's all going to be handled by mesh deformation, but in the long range, uh, there's no way I can get away with that because <coughs> it's too too expensive in frames per second in performance. So that's all done through a shader, which is all well and good. And uh, I'll bring up the shader here, call it Bush 6. And uh, it takes diffuse, it's a normal, we've got a yellow tinge there set at minus 0 0.09. Let's just zoom in here. So this is the my custom built shader. And the wind one, 0 0.1, bold shape, 100,000, uh, bold scale, 0 0.01. Diffuse power 1.25, specular 0 0.08, opacity 0 0.82, so 20% less, that's 82% opacity. Uh, emission 0 0.03, for a slight bit of an emission in the darkness. Opacity clip 0 0.912, so it's 9% clip, 91.2 uh, clipping, so we've lost a bit of information, but that's fine. Red 0 0.54. Uh, green minus 0 0.28, blue minus 0 0.18. So I've gone to minus 1 plus 1, I think, or it might be minus 1 plus 2. I don't know. I've got really. uh, GPU instance, yes. Double sided globalization, yes. So, uh, great. Quite happy with it. But if I could, I would love to get the leaves to, to um, flutter independently. It's all just one big smushed cheap. Mesh from Envirospawn, uh, massively aggressive LOD system. So we've got a thing with nothing on it apart from the shader, <coughs> and then in here we've got the the full Monty with the sound effects as you go in the animator, the interaction trigger in 3D game kit, light, uh, and the bush shader there. And uh, so on trigger, it plays the sound and it plays the animation. And the animation is very basic. If I can find it. Uh, Bush 3B. We've got two states. We've got idle, which is just a gentle mesh sway. So like, do that, bring it up, double click. Boom. Boom. There we go. So it goes 0 0.02 to 0 0.02. And this is a Bush sign deformer peak so it changes the peak and keeps the peak at 0 0.02 which is a slight sway uh, slime deform, sign deform and then <coughs> on enter that pumps up to 0.3 and then goes down uh, fades into 0 0.02 which is the standard and then it transitions into the, the idle and stays there so on enter and exit plays a little animation, a little jiggle, and then it goes back to gentle sway. And um, all well and good, fine and dandy. Uh, but, you know, if I can get it a little bit better, I would love to. I'd love to get the, the leaves to flutter independently. Maybe green, I don't know. The branches just to sway back and forth whilst these flutter. But uh, I've reached the peak of what I can do, and if I tab into Shader Forge, which is freely available. Um, so this is a project with Shader Forge involved. So if I click on there, Bush 6, Bush 6, that's the material I made. And then that's the shader, both of which I can 
open shader in Shader Forge. So we do that. And I've got a panner going on, which is the bulge deformation. Then we've got I've got this basic leaf animation, which is vertex color pi and time well, vertex color and pi. Well, let's get my zoom in. There, zoomed into, uh, multiplied and added together with a time factor, then sinned with a gentle sway, and then we've had a, a, a factor here, a slider here that goes into the multiply, which then feeds into an add and to the vertex offset. That's the key for the offsets. And we've also got uh, wind direction, a normalize, add, normalize in there, multiply it, add it, and in. But I can't figure out how you isolate different colors. I mean, it's got red, but green and blue didn't seem to do anything, so I don't know what I'm doing there. And um, the panel here is taken from the mesh deformation example. So in Shader Forge, you get given this scene examples, and it's a UV chord into a panner, into a comp mask, frac, value, subtract, add, value, multiply, power, multiply, add, and opacity is just a slider. Opacity clip is handled by, boy, go to texture, and up here I put a red, green, and blue multipliers connected to the red, green, and blue channels uh, from minus one to one. And that feed, they multiplied up and add together uh, into the image. So it takes a diffuse image. And we've also got a yellow multiplier here. It's based on the blue or, um, stuff. And that just adds a yellow highlight to it that we can add might work on some others as well there. Opacity clip, right, that feeds from the alpha, from the diffuse. So your texture takes take the alpha, you can adjust it with that slider, multiply it together, and stick it into the opacity clip. We've got diffuse power and specular, just as sliders from zero to two. <laughs> then we've got the normal map, and we're taking all of that, Bump normal map and shoving that into the normal map, and the emission is just a color with a multiplier. We do emission, and we've got transmission. I'm not really sure what transmission is or light wrapping, but it's got these ones here. I've copied that, a lot of this stuff from the example. So if I zoom out again and compile it, and hopefully it doesn't break on me. Uh, there we go, and close that, uh, and I'll get out of this. So I've taken from this leaf example, so if we click on that, vegetation, vegetation, open shade and shade forge, it's very similar. So we, if you click on those and control copy, you can paste them into a new shader. So you have to shift click on each one, and then control copy, and you can I've got a new shader and control V to paste. That's very cool, and that gives you that kind of thing with a gentle. This is a gentle sin sway. Um, but I'm looking, can I get leaves to flutter? And can I get more control? Like, uh, there's this video I saw using something else, shader graph is it uh, but I want to be able to do it in the standard um, unity pipeline just the standard one that you get as normal close I mean I could try and figure out how to do it in well I've got amplify as well so I could go and play into amplify but um, Yeah, so I might go into Amplify and see if I can recreate this and see if I can pick up any more hints and tips, of, especially on how to isolate maybe different colours or get the tips to to flutter a bit differently. And um, yeah, that's as far as I've got. I took 
the vegetation section shader nodes, copied them, pasted them, I've got the vertex animation. So I bring that up, vertex animation, and shader. I didn't bother with the emission stuff there, I don't want it glowing like that. And I didn't bother with the texture moving either, because I don't really want that moving, because that's always irritating. Uh, but the panning stuff here is the stuff I copied and stuck that with the UV offset. So I combined that with the leaf one to get something that's reasonable, but I still don't know how to isolate X, Y, and Z uh, mesh deformation. I've just taken this stuff and um, stuck in my own uh, values here. And I think I might have flooded it out because I think I found that it uh, flickered too much. Alright, uh, close that. I certainly don't want to compile that because I haven't done anything with it. And yeah, so there we are. And um, you can change the colours, which is nice. Um, I'll click on that. Bring up the material. Yeah, so we've got the RGB there, so we can really fine-tune the colour, the greenness of it all. Uh, it's still a little bit flat for my liking, so never-ending really. So next steps would be fire up Amplify, see if I can get any better results from Amplify, because Amplify also outputs a standard rate, uh, standard uh, Unity um, platform rather than having to go to high def and maybe try and go into shader lab is it the one that you get with unity but that's only for different workflows the high def stuff so i really like shader forge because it's uh, free uh, so i can give it to my students and say use this and they don't have to and not only is it free, because um, Shade Lab is also free, but it also compiles into shaders that you can use in standard Unity, which that's something Shader Lab doesn't do, which I think is a massive oversight. Shader it's called Shader Lab. So both Amplify and Shader Forge output shaders that you can use in nearly every uh, Unity project, whereas the built-in one from Unity will not support the old thing, which I think, you know, is it, I find it very disappointing. But I will do it just to learn if I have to. So, um, yeah, that's the state of play at the moment. And I'm quite pleased with it and uh, happy with it. So if I go back to the project, yeah, it's, it's fine. Uh, but I'm always looking to see if I can improve performance and um, Just get that little bit extra. It's a little bit, I don't know. It's a bit hokey, really. You know, once I've watched it a thousand times, I realise, you know, it could be so much better. The sway's good, though. I mean, I don't mind the sway, but this whole. I don't know. It's the best I can do with a solid mesh that's all smushed together with textures that are all smushed together. Um, obviously, I could just we could just build our own bushes from the tree maker in Unity, but I'm not sure how good the performance would be with a thousand or ten. Because I got this up to ten thousand, but at the moment it's at five hundred, and the frame rate's fine. And that's fairly complex mesh deformation. Just this little, the little wave is fine. It's not, and that's just to show that you've entered it. I mean, ideally they would move a bit. I don't know. I think it's pretty reasonable. But it would certainly be nice if these things could bend a bit. And these could flutter a bit. And the great thing about the shader as opposed to the mesh. The mesh thing is so expensive in terms of frame rate that I've had to set up a whole bespoke collision system to switch it on and off within this kind of like 
five, ten meters. But with this, the uh, material shader, uh, that can just do its little gentle sway uh, for all of them without really costing very much. So that's very cool. And uh, yeah, that's as far as I've got so far. I hope that's of use to anyone, and I hope that anyone can come up with some ideas on how to improve it, especially trying to get leaves to flutter. That would be awesome. See you in the next one.